Hey guys, Chris Love, the owner of Love to Dev, and in this video, I want to answer a question that developers and managers are having about service worker caching. But the answer really is more about how much space does the browser give us to actually store content or cache content on the client device. And the answer is it depends, but the good point of that is that there's kind of a de facto standard that's more or less being adopted, but there are variations to it. But first, let's kind of look at storage um, and what's part of storage. If I go over to Chrome and we go down to our application and you see uh, we have storage here, but we also have cache. Now this cache is our service worker cache, and it's going to show us what's being persisted in, in cache. You're also going to see the app cache value here, which right now I've got nothing because I'm not using app cache on this particular site just yet. But up here in storage, you also see we have local session storage, index DB, web SQL, which you shouldn't honestly be using anymore and cookies, which hopefully you're not using that many or much of at this point. Uh, looks like I've got Google Analytics on there, but that's about as much as you probably should have these days. Anyway, so um, how much storage are you actually using? Well, you could, in theory, go through and calculate it, but it would be a real pain in the rear to do it. And I've seen some scripts that are trying to attempt that, especially over local storage, because local storage, you only get about five megs to persist content and it has to be string based. Uh, so you're not really going to be storing images or media files, or font files, things like that in local storage anyway. And because of that, you should be able to store just about an entire website in there uh, without the media files. Um, most websites should be in the kilobyte range when you just break it down to just markup scripts and CSS. Um, so you you definitely could have enough room to store all that there. But uh, now we're getting into service workers and there's potential to cache a lot of content. Now before I kind of re really go over the uh, kind of guidelines on that, let me just tell you, uh, if you've got a large site, you need to put a lot of uh, I would say customize logic to manage how much you're persisting in your storage. And the reason being is most people are on phones these days and they're not necessarily going to have a ton of storage allocated to you. The other side of that is they're going to be on cellular devices and you don't want to be downloading your entire website payload over a cellular network uh, to the customer. That's just bad manners and it's going to eat up their data plan. Now the whole goal is to try to reduce network traffic and if you've properly designed your website, meaning you may or may not be using an app shell, but you've, you've got the, uh, the common assets pre-cached like JavaScript and CSS and maybe some common images, um, some frequently visited pages on your site, you've got proper cache rules and stuff in place for that, uh, then you should not be burdened or concerned about uh, consuming too much bandwidth to make your site load and work offline nicely. Now, um, I'm not going to go over those kind of strategies here in this video. Uh, in our course that we're about to launch, we will have a lot of deep dive on caching strategies, and there will be you know several hours worth of content around that uh, that you definitely want to stay uh, alert for, so you'll know when we've got that course ready to sign up for, and you can be one of the first ones to uh, go in there and master uh, progressive web apps and service workers. Now, uh, so we've got all that said, I'll give them a little uh, public service announcement about being kind to your visitors and uh, everything. What we do have um, is the way cash is allocated. Um, instead of an individual value being given, say, to local storage or to IndexedDB or to the browser cache in general, what the browsers do is they allocate a uh, I would say a a, no, a rough amount of space to you for your um, your domain, and the domain being like yourdomain.com, your origin is what we call it too. Um, and all that you get a certain amount of space, and that space available varies based on the amount of space available on the actual device. Now I'm on a Surface 3 uh, recording this right now, and I've, right now I've got about 250 gigs of free space because I recently repaved the machine and I have not downloaded a ton of stuff 
to it to clutter up my hard drive. So I've got a lot of space available. Now if I was on a phone, and remember the average person's phone is somewhere around a uh, Nexus 5 kind of phone is what the average person actually carries around these days. Uh, they're not carrying around massive amount of storage. Even though if you get a, say, a large iPhone, um, the apps on the iPhone are so large, uh, people generally don't have that much space available anyway, especially if they take photos and videos uh, and uh, or have music that they've downloaded. They generally don't have any space um, available on these devices. Uh, so uh, you're not necessarily gonna get a lot of space to work with. In fact, I right now, I think Safari is kind of the one holdout of this rule I'm about to go over. To my knowledge, they haven't adopted this pattern yet. Right now, I think it is capped out at 50 megs is the maximum you can get. Now, I do believe you can prompt the user to get more space, say for index DB, but um, I've never hit that limit personally, <laughs> so I haven't had to go down that route just yet. But um, back in September, uh, Ollie with the Microsoft Edge team was going over the service worker roadmap for Microsoft Edge and he finished up his presentation by kind of going over this question that I'm talking to you about today and he he shared this kind of um, uh, guideline that generally the browsers are starting to adopt now there can be variations to it the, the catch here is that there is nothing in any of the web platform specifications that says how much space the browser should allocate to storage for an origin or for any of these particular cache services. But the rule is, uh, based on this kind of table, uh, if the volume, which is the about the amount of disk space available uh, on the device, um, <clears throat> really the hard drive you're persisting the storage on, uh, is less than eight gigabytes available then it's going to limit you to 20% of the overall space, which can still be a lot, or 50 megabytes, okay? So um, when I say the 20% could be a lot, it, technically it could be a lot, um, but it's gonna be uh, 50 megabytes is probably where you're gonna be sitting at. And that's why I say pretty much Safari is gonna be sitting at that 50 meg limit, because it's gonna be very rare that anybody on an iPhone is gonna have uh, more than eight gigabytes free space on that particular device. So. 50 megs is probably uh, probably what you need to count on uh, because most people, I'd say 90 to 95% of traffic on the web right now is on phones, and you're probably gonna, you're definitely going to be under that 8 gig limit for just about everybody. So don't uh, when I say do your calculations, still calculate on about 50 megs being free. But with that said, there are scenarios where obviously you can get more. Uh, if you're in that 8 to 32 gig free range then you um, can go up to 500 megabytes, which is really large. Uh, I think you could, you could justify just about every website that's out there and probably fit it on 500 megs if you've got properly optimized images and don't cram a lot of unused JavaScript and CSS on there, et cetera. Uh, you could probably get, I'd say, 95% of the websites in there for sure. Uh, but you don't want to do that. Um, and then if we've got 32 to 128 gigs, what a, um, you know, which is probably a, you know a lot of desktop computers, laptops, and stuff that are still in use, um, are got a good chance of having. They're going to get four percent of the actual volume size, which is still quite a bit uh, of space. And then um, if you're in the state that I'm in, like right now, um, you're going to get four percent or 20 gigabytes, whichever is smaller. Now you're going to see here in a minute that is not necessarily true, <laughs> but uh, anyway. Uh, so in theory, I should be capped out at 20 gigabytes, but as you're going to see in a second, I ha it looks like I've got 33 gigs or something like that available to me, um, So at least in Chrome. So that is a good segue into what I wanted to go over next. As you can see here on this uh, config page of the Fast Furniture demo application, um, I have um, a thing here for how much space is being used. And it's telling me I've got 18 gigabytes used. I know that's definitely not true. So that's probably why this is off. And then it's saying that many, it's, I've got to figure out the math on this, but basically there is a storage estimate estimator um, thing. And I think what is wrong is the example code I followed was bytes. And I think it was bits is what it's really trying to show me. So I've probably got uh, 18, probably 1.8 megs is probably what I've actually got cached. It might be uh, 18 megs. Now think about all the images I do have cached at this point. So it's probably it was 18 megs, probably 18 megs. And I probably have um, 
it's still probably 33 gigs or whatever. I gotta do the math on this, but basically I'm just echoing out what's going on. Now if I go over here to sources, um, yeah, this is gonna be pretty ugly because I'm on the small screen. So I can move this out a little bit. There we go, it's a little better. Uh, there we go. There is a new API that's getting deployed. Right now I can only verify support in Chrome. And I'm not sure what version of Chrome, but most likely you've got the version of Chrome at this point because most people never get two versions of Chrome behind. And if you want to do that, I've got I've got a uh, uh, progressive enhancement feature detection, which is how you should always do it, it is to check to see if storage the storage object is in the navigator object and that the estimate method is in the storage object. And if so, then you can use it. And what it's going to do is you call um, the storage manager and the estimate method that returns a promise and it'll give you a um, an object back in this case it's called estimate and that estimate is going to have a couple of properties one is usage which you can see right here and the other one is quota and right now I'm trying to divide by a million because I was thinking anyway I'm still working on the math <laughs> so I gotta I just kind of hack this together real quick for the video and uh, I'm just echoing those out for us but I'm also logging that here so if I go to the console you can see what it says and that's that's actually where I got the uh, the, the sample code from to play with was just echoing out the number of bytes. So I got I got to work on this a little bit, um, but that's okay. Um, so this is one way you can kind of at least echo out how much is being used within your application. And also remember too, if someone has uh, on Chrome for Android, uh, specifically at this point if they've got Oreo, uh, they can also manage storage like a regular application because uh, if they've added the Progressive Web App to their home screen, it automatically gets converted to that Web APK format, which makes it a native app on the platform. And so they've got additional interface to it at that point. So hopefully this is going to help you in your pursuit of knowing, well, how much space do we have available to actually store stuff? And honestly, you've, you've, you've probably got a lot more than you think, but I would say the rule of thumb is to know that you've got about 50 megs uh, in most cases. But as far as what are you going to store in service worker cache, um, you're definitely going to have, I would say, just plan on, let's just say 40, 35, 40 megs at most is what you're really going to do. And you, if the um, storage estimator uh, API is supported on the platform, you should be able to access that and even put some logic in place to manage what's uh, actually stored in a service worker cache. Now, if you start hitting those limits, the browsers will start throwing things overboard as they see fit. And no one's really told me what the heuristics are as far as determining what, which one of your assets is gonna be thrown overboard. So um, you definitely wanna be in control of that and always just know that things may or may not even be there. Uh, but if you design your caching strategy correctly, uh, at worst case, all you're going to run into is a network call and uh, not your application completely falling over. So, um, but if you are designing for a scenario where your users are going to be offline or, or in poor connectivity consistently and you need that offline capability, then you definitely need to plan accordingly. And again, if you've got uh, media that needs to get persisted, uh, try to keep that to a small amount. Um, try not to possibly use like high resolution images and definitely make sure that those images are optimized. I always uh, advise using uh, responsive images as well. And when it comes to leveraging those responsive images, um, you may need a caching strategy in place uh, for the particular device that you're uh, being, that the application is being used on it and download those uh, file sizes uh, accordingly. And uh, I probably should do a good video or two on responsive images. So definitely stay tuned to the channel for that. If you've got any questions about um, browser storage, um, please leave those in the section below. If you think this is useful, I uh, really encourage you to like this video. And if you think it's helpful, send it over to a friend and let them see it as well. And I uh, hope this is helpful. Again, it's Chris Love of Love to Dev, and I um, want to be one of your top resources for progressive web apps and service workers, and hopefully this will help you uh, pursue and add those to make your sites an uh, awesome experience.